Welcome to a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. This is question one from the higher tier of the second set of practice papers. What we're told here is that the diagram shows the cross section of a solid prism. The length of the prism is two meters. The prism is made from metal and the density of the metal is eight grams per centimeter cubed. What we're asked to do is we're asked to work out the mass of the prism. The first thing that we're going to need to do in order to answer this is recognize what the relationship is between density, mass and volume. And what we can say is that density is equal to mass divided by volume. Now, if we take a look at the question and see what information we've got, the only bit of information we're told is that the density of the metal is 8 grams per centimetre cubed. So what we can say is that 8 grams per centimetre cubed is going to be equal to the mass divided by the volume. Now, we're asked to work out the mass, but in order to do that, we're also going to need to work out the volume. And we've got enough information in the question here to do that. So to work out the volume of this shape, the first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to work out the area of the cross section of the prism and then I'm going to multiply that by the length. So to work out the volume of a solid prism, the thing that we would need to do is we would just multiply the area of the cross section, the shape that we're given here, and multiply it by the length. So that's a fairly straightforward thing to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that down there and say that this is 7 multiplied by 2. 14 and that's 14 centimeters squared then I'm going to say well I've used up two of these centers two of the seven centimeters here and so what I can say is that the length of this rectangle now would be five centimeters and I'm just going to do five multiplied by two to give me ten so what I can say is that the area of this cross section in total is 24 and so my volume is going to be 24 centimeters squared multiplied by the length. Now I need to be a little bit careful here. I'm told that the length of the prism is two meters. I've measured and, and I've calculated the area in centimeters um, and in centimeters squared, sorry. So that means in order to work out the volume, I'm going to have to multiply it by the length in centimetres as well for it to make sense. So I'm multiplying 24 centimetres squared by 2 metres or 200 centimetres. And that's going to give me an answer of 4,800 and that's centimetres cubed. So now what I can say is that the density is 8 grams per centimetres cubed. And that, that is equal to the mass divided by this volume that I've just calculated, 4,800 centimetres cubed. So in order to work out the mass, all that I'm going to have to do is solve this equation. So in order to do that, all that I need to do is to get rid of that divide by 4,800 by multiplying by it. So my, what I can say is that my mass is going to be equal to... 8 multiplied by 4,800 and so my mass is going to be equal to 8 multiplied by 4,800 which is going to give me an answer of uh, 38,400 and that's um, and also we're going to need to give our unit here our mass we've measured it in 8 grams per centimeter cubed and so our answer there is 38,400 grams.